you're looking at a 2011 Mitsubishi Eclipse. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> like that color, huh? Yeah. Okay, alright, you don't have to be down there anymore. So, let's start off with the front. This is a V6 model. I don't know what kind of fuel economy it gets, but I'm sure it's not worth it. Um, <laughs> it's kind of dirty right now. Actually, it's very dirty right now. It's rather disgusting. <laughs> it makes it better. This review is not going to be a professional because this car isn't worth it. It's not worth the time. So, well, you have this color. Let's say you're a 25 year old male out of college, got your first job, you're looking for something that looks sexy and fun, and you're going to pick up that chick that you're going to get married to, have kids with, and be miserable with the rest of your life. Ready? Okay. You want to pick her up in this, right? <laughs> no, you don't. Because it's a piece of shit. So, you got plenty of alternatives, right? The same price range. You have the V6 Mustang, you have, uh, well, we'll get to that, but you have, you have other choices. This is uh, classified as a sports car, I believe. Just a convertible sports car. It's a uh, low key. And, uh, yeah, and the problem with it is that it's too cheap. And Mitsubishi's philosophy was you know what? Let's, let's just take a good car, the Mitsubishi GT3000, and let's make it consumer friendly. soft top actually which is a total waste of money um, considering that you can just flip something up and pull it over. But anyway um, this window has zero rear visibility like none it is not worth it it is not worth those rear defrosting strips because even if it was in an icy or frost or an area where we had frost on the rear windshield or well the rear window So, and then you have these, these wheels, and uh, I'm pretty sure they're an optional, they're an optional thing. <laughs> <laughs> the wheels are optional. Well, no, no, not, not, they're not optional, but those are, there's some size, I don't really care. I don't, I mean, yeah, but, oh man, I was putting the sticker price on there. The color is orange. Really, the color would be a deterrent from buying this car. Look at that. It's disgusting. It's like the... And okay, imagine this color covered in dirt and dust. Like that. It's gross. <laughs> so, I guess we should uh, take a driving now. Alright, so, turn the key in the ignition. This is your dream. <laughs> yep. You know what you're driving. Okay. Now, we're going to open the top. Ready? Okay. Count it. From the button until it's completely open. Screwed up putting the top down. We're gonna do it again. Alright, ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, 17 seconds. I don't know how that compares. All right. I like how whenever you have these down, like you can't see the road. Yeah. You literally cannot. Dude! <laughs> <laughs> okay, give me the camera. Here. That's how much of the road I can see. <laughs> Safety. <laughs> All right. So, 263 horsepower. Let's uh, put this in the manual shift mode. Put on some music. Young Beezy. <laughs> Yeah, this is a gravel road. All right, I think we have enough room to do a 0 to 60 here. All right. We're going to sit here. I'm going to leave it in drive. And I'm just going to mash the pedal. No wheel spin. <laughs> okay, another problem with this car is people are going to look at you and go, Ugh! I mean, that's what they're going to do because it's not good looking. They know. It's good looking to a 25 year old. Maybe. I don't know. Some people. That's bad to stereotype. But to anyone else, it's like, ah! Like, there are genuine sports cars that look good and are classy. This is not one of them. And you're blasting young Jeezy. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> there, there are other... There well, the other cars in this price range that would be much better choice. Personally, if I was looking at a sports car with about this much power, I would go with a V6 Mustang convertible. It's probably going to be a little more. No, I don't think so. I just keep... I have this sense of wanting more from this car. I just 
I'm driving it, but I want to be closer to it, and it's pushing me away. Which is, I mean, I don't know why I'd want to be close to an eclipse. So. <laughs> Another this thing, that, that back seat. It's uncomfortable. There's no room back there. There's none. There's barely any room in the passenger. Like, it forces you to sit the way it wants you to. And I have scoliosis, so it's like extra painful. Good. So, if you have scoliosis, fly an eclipse. <laughs> We're coming out up on junction K, K, K. Ah, here it is. Oh. This is a perfect compliment to this car. Listen to what, what we have to work with here. No. No. <laughs> it sounds like it doesn't have anything. Yeah. Oh my, oh my god! god. <laughs> it it's is. on zero. Yeah. Zero. <laughs> Keep right. No. Alright. In summary, the philosophy of this car was let's make a sports car that 